welcome back to my channel so today's topic is how to discipline a child as a parent and as a teacher quite often we find it very difficult to discipline a naughty child isn't it so there are a few suggestions uh, which are acceptable forms of punishment first i will discuss with you which are non acceptable which are not acceptable as a form of punishment the first one is scaring the child at any cost it can be like the child quite often wants to go to the kitchen he likes to eat something from the kitchen which you don't like okay or due to safety reasons as well but then you are telling that ghost is there okay behind the cupboard all those things these type of scare, uh, scary affirmations you should never give to your child for example recently i saw a movie in youtube a short movie english short movie its name is cookie cookie jar so the child is quite often taking cookies from the cookie jar and eating a 5 year old child girl so the ma ma mother is finding it's very difficult so what she does is she is replacing the cookie jar with a creepy cookie jar a clown a creepy cr a clown is on the cookie jar so later on it becomes uh, a psychological problem to the girl so that movie really haunts me even now so it shows the psychological impact on a child by scaring the child so we should refrain from that and the second one is yelling and name calling which quite often the parents do because of their own emotional uh, tantrums which should not be done we should refrain from yelling at our child we should speak to them in a calm voice that it's a very very important because later on it may lead the child developing a very aggressive kind of character and he also will start yelling and name calling name calling is another bad thing which we do we, when we are angry we can call them by any name it will definitely affect their self respect and self esteem which we have to refrain from and the third form is the physical punishment which is definitely we should refrain from physical punishment we don't have any right to hurt anyone and first of all the mental and physical abuse it comes under child abuse the physical and mental abuse comes under child abuse so we have to refrain from that now parents are often angry or stressed out most of the time due to their own pressure so what they are doing rather than the intensity of the uh, what they have done in discipline the parents show their own temper tantrums on the child which is not acceptable at all and child will think that continuously beating or spanking or hitting all these things the child will think that violence is acceptable when he grows up it may lead to domestic violence as well he doesn't feel that it's a bad thing because he has been trained to do so so we should definitely refrain from this at any cost now third point is inflicting pain is definitely a cruel act inflicting the pain is definitely a cruel kind of act uh, the child are born so that we can nurture him and care him not to inflict any kind of pain and next is we are crossing the child's boundaries he should know that where his boundary is and we don't have any right to cross the boundaries so all these things we have to refrain from these type of punishments definitely we have to refrain from one is scaring the child and second one is name calling and yelling at the child and third one is physical punishment any form of physical punishment now now next is how we can train our child in a better punishable uh, you know acceptable puni punishments by the psychologist so we'll go to that the first one is a stern talk call your child look into his eyes and without yelling in a calm voice you can speak to him directly continuously do that to change any of his behavior it's acceptable for parents as well as for teachers a stern a stern talk looking at the eyes straight away it's very important 
Now the second thing is it's acceptable for children below 10 years a naughty chair. A chair should be there in your room in somewhere in your room or in the classroom where if he is doing any naughty thing or which is not acceptable he can sit there for 10 minutes. For a child it's really very painful to sit there in a chair. So whenever he sees that chair he will connect with that a naughty chair concept. That is very very good and the third one is isolation. What do you mean by isolation? To keep him in one room. Don't close the room. Just keep him uh, for half an hour or one hour according to the child's age and just isolate him for that time period. Any of those family members should not talk to that child. So he should uh, understand that it's not a socially acceptable behavior. So there is a better chance for improvement. Even in classroom, we can do that as teachers. If a child is continuously talking rather than correcting them, we can tell other children not to talk to the child for one hour or one period or two periods. So when he understands that his behavior is not socially accepted, he may refrain from that. So that is one method. Now the next one is withholding. Withholding certain things which he uses. For example, it can be video game, it can be the computer or phone where he chats with his uh, friend or uh, it can be going out to play anything. Anything which he, it's very important to him, we can withhold for one or two days. It is also an acceptable form of punishment to correct his behavior. It is more uh, adequate for um, older children than small ones. Now the second last one is grounding. Now what do you mean by grounding? Grounding is a specific time period we are giving to the child so that he can understand his mistake and he can uh, correct it. He can uh, think about himself, what he is doing, how can he correct that and we are giving a specific time period for correcting his mistakes. That is called a grounding period and uh, he, you can re uh, refrain him from many other activities other than he can come out for dining with you only that is acceptable so these are the different acceptable forms of punishment if any other punishment which you know which ha you have tried which is acceptable please comment below and let me know so hope you enjoyed this video thank you and have a good day